My name is Anya Prince, and I am a professor at the University of Iowa College of Law. And I'm going to briefly talk to you today about US the, uh, regulation of genetic discrimination in the United States. So first, I'll start by just talking a little bit about what genetic discrimination is, and then I'll go on to talk about how the United States regulates this. So genetic discrimination is when an individual is treated differently or negatively um, because of their genetic information. Uh, so often this is a, you know, a genetic test result. Um, that shows that they have a predisposition to some disease, uh, but it could also be a family history of a genetic condition um, or other type of genetic information. So in the US, we have a federal law called the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act. Uh, it's it's um, shortened to GINA, and this was signed by law in 2008 by President Bush. And GINA prohibits employers and health insurers in the United States from taking into account uh, genetic information. Uh, it only covers certain employers and certain health insurers, uh, so it does have some gaps, um, but a lot, of, a lot of those entities are, are covered. However, um, GINA only covers federal, or sorry, the federal law, GINA only covers employment and health insurance. It does not cover other uh, use of genetic information by other entities, such as life, long-term care, or disability insurers. Um, and so there is some concern in the U.S. about how these companies would be able to use or whether they would be able to use genetic information. And so in order to answer that question, uh, you have to look to state law in order to determine what um, whether these groups could use genetic information. So in the United States, we have a federalist system um, where both federal law and state law um, can apply. Uh, and so um, at the state level, there's really a patchwork of whether or not, or um, there's a patchwork of how these types of insurers can use genetic information. Uh, most often it's regulated and not banned, although there are a hand, very small number of states that do bar um, life, long-term care, or disability insurers from using genetic information. More, more often, um, they say that in order to use genetic information, insurers have to meet uh, certain regulations, such as getting informed consent from uh, individuals or um, giving the results of a genetic test to a healthcare provider, for example. Uh, I was part of a group that mapped out um, some of these state laws. So if anybody is interested in learning more about the states, uh, state laws, as, at least as of um, uh, 2020, when this was published, uh, you can check out this article um, by Jared Anderson uh, et al. Uh, so that is a very brief primer on how we regulate genetic discrimination here in the United States. So thank you so much.